Morning Pipers. Hope you're all well. As you can see, the boy's back. I've had to build him a little uh, den so he can't jump out. And he's harnessed up. Because he's still can't really well i don't know if he'll ever sort of like better jump on furniture etc again anyway but he can walk but shouldn't be doing steps etc but it's good to have him back good to have your back isn't it it's good to have your back just lit up some Rattray's Wallace Flake that Kev, the Granite City Piper, kindly sent me down. It's lovely, I like it. It's uh, actually University Flake, uh, Peterson's University Flake, but uh, I think it was K&K &K when they left Peterson's and went to Rattray's. They took the recipe with them and released it under Wallace Flake. I believe that's right. So it's got that little bit of... little bit of plum. A little bit of plum topping in there. It's good. And the alternate um Paul, which is starting to get a bit of colour on the shank, slowly but surely. Pick myself up a little swan vesta. Cover. Right, copper. Two ninety nine off eBay. Been wanting one for ages, so that were the right result. I like to use a match when I'm lighting my pipe up for the first time. Even though the quality of the matches these days are shit, and it takes about four four strikes to get one going, but. Uh, and then I kind of move on to the lighter after I've got that fir first lit rituals and all that, I guess. So look at this pipe. So I know a lot of people get excited when they see the whole white gloves come out, get a few comments. But uh, this pipe was done for Dave. David, DJC Drums on Instagram. And the name, as obviously seen on the title, came to me. I don't know. It's just things I think of when I'm doing them. But it's a Rhodesian, which I just class them as bulldogs, really. Potatoes, potatoes, I guess. And uh, he's a drummer, is David. And Bulldog Drummond is someone I used to watch when I was a kid. That, I don't know if he's an American detective, I presume he is. But uh, it just came to me, I don't know, strange strange how these names come sometimes. But I wanted a name for the pipe and Bulldog Drummond fitted. Uh, it's kind of what I had in my mind as I was making it. So... I had a bit of fun with this one, caused me a few problems, but we got there in the end. And here she is. So we've got a nice bit of grain on the top. We've got this rustication. Stamp there. We've got this gorgeous buffalo horn accent, real buffalo horn. And then the Eldridge heavy metal range, the bronze. No filter. Now you can see a bit better the buffalo horn with a slight colouring on it but this pipe 
was started out, it, was, it wasn't this pipe, it was another block. And uh, David wanted uh, one similar to mine, and it has a coconut wood stem. So I got the coconut wood stem on and turned it, shaped it all, rusticated it. And then I went back just to put the ball on the lathe because I just wanted to do a few little bits to it. And I caught the shank on the tool post and snapped it clean in half. And that was my last bit of coconut wood. So I rang Dave up to say, uh, obviously I have no coconut wood. What do you want to do? And he said, I'll leave it entirely up to you. Uh, just make the pipe as though you were making it for yourself, which I did. And I found this buffalo on first time using it. And it's a lovely piece. Really looks like glass when you close up. But yeah, so we've got a bent Rhodesian. Lovely pipe. So that will be heading its way out to David on Monday. So better pictures on my Instagram and Facebook and video as ever. Never really get the good light in here. But you get the general idea. So that is Bulldog Drummond. And I think that's all I've got to report this episode, guys. Obviously, you've seen the dog's back, seen the pipe, you know what I'm smoking. So I shall carry on with this ball. Uh, going to Zoom with the Aussies, so that'll pass an hour, hour and a half or so. And uh, we're having a few smokes later on too, so whatever you're doing, guys, have a great weekend, and as ever, stay smoky, my friends.